Good morning ladies and gents, it is currently day 11 of Interland, as much as we can of Europe in 30 days. So waking up in Budapest yesterday, we got a train in the morning to Vienna, Austria, and then a train late yesterday evening to Bratislava, Slovakia. That is where we currently are in the train station waiting for our train to the next country. It is another new country for both of us and we are super excited. We didn't want to film in the hostel this morning because everyone was still sleeping. So we just got out of there, we come to the train station and we were waiting for our first train. How are you feeling this morning? I'm feeling very refreshed after a very nice sleep last night. Even though the hostel was really warm, we were both really tired, so yeah. I think I ignored the heat. We go again. First train down, we've got 20 minutes waiting in Vienna train station for the next train. There's a lot of people waiting for this train, I think it's going to be really busy. I hope we get to sit together and we hope there's plugs because we didn't have plugs in our beds last night. I just realised that Kelsey's left her towel in the hostel, which makes it the first item that we've lost. So sad. First item in 11 days, not too bad, considering too how fast we move it. Uh, it could have been something better than my towel. Yeah, if it was like a piece of clothing, like a t-shirt or something, it would have been better. Half hour into the train, four hours to go. The seats we were sitting in, someone had reserved, and there are no seats on this train that are available. We're currently standing in the restaurant area. There's two and a half hours left of the train, and we haven't got seats. Thought we bagged some good ones too. We made it to Prague. Woo! Brand new country. Country number 23 together? 25. Oh, oh well, I got away wrong. Country number 25 together. What do you think? We're just leaving the train station in Prague now. It's two o'clock in the afternoon. That train was about four and a half, five hours long. So I think it's time for a game plan. Step one, we're going to head to a shop, pick up some lunch and pick up some stuff for food later as well. Step number two, we're going to head to the apartment and check in. And finally, step number three, we are going to head into Prague and explore as much as we can. One thing to note, it is much cooler here. It's about 21 degrees rather than 36 degrees that we were walking around in yesterday. So it feels much better on our backs. It's also a little bit windy, so hopefully the camera's not picking that up. That's the shop down back to the train station. If you're wondering why we're back on our train when we've just arrived in Prague, it's because we're staying in an apartment that's six minutes away from a train outside of the main train station. So we're gonna head there now. As it's Saturday night in Prague, hotels and apartments are a little bit more expensive, but we found one just outside the city for £65. It works out better because it's right next to a train station, six minutes from the centre, so we can just ping back and forth as and when we need over the next 24 hours. We got on the wrong train. I backfired. So we're gonna have to walk from this train station. Is it further away than the other train station? It's about 45 minutes walk. Yeah, we tried. That's okay. Oh. Well, this is nice. This is very nice. After staying in hostels for two nights in a row, we thought we'd treat ourselves to a nice little apartment. So we've got a studio apartment, double bed, sofa seating area, TV, Fan, no air, no air con. Fan is fine though. And then we've got a kitchen area here with a microwave, a hob and a fridge. And then the bathroom is here. Pretty nice bathroom. Yeah, that walk ended up taking us a lot longer than the train would have, but you win some, you lose some. We're here now and it's been worth it. Kelsey's got food on the go. We're making some sweet and sour chicken and rice. And I'm currently editing yesterday's video. We're just watching some YouTube videos on Prague as well, so we know what we want to go and see. Dinner is served. Mm. Nice. Yeah, I've been editing the video. Kelsey's fallen asleep. And I think it's time to go out. So we're going to have to wake her up. <laughs> we're going to have to walk. Why are you? Because there's something to see on the way. Oh, okay. And then a little bit further is the bridge. Okay. Okay, we're going to shower up and we're going to head out. We're heading out to explore Prague now. We've decided that we're not going to take the train in, even though it takes like six minutes. We are going to walk because there's a couple of stops we want to hit up on the way. We're walking along the river towards the centre and uh, there's loads of these boat bars along the place. A bar and a boat? What a good idea. Boat bars. 
We haven't been walking for too long, but so far Prague is really nice. There's a lovely walk along the river and yeah, a lot of people around. Yeah, it's really lovely. And the weather is perfecto. Not too warm, not too cold. And the sun's out. And it's currently slowly setting. We're currently at our first stop. It's just a quick stop. There's loads of traffic, so I won't be allowed. But yeah, look how cool it is. It's called the Dancing House. It looks like it belongs to Monsters Inc. The buildings are so cool. It reminds me of something from a fairy tale or like an old school Disney movie. We made it to the Charles Bridge, which is probably the most famous tourist attraction here in Prague, and it is busy. It is absolutely rammed. You can definitely tell this is the top thing to see here. A couple of days ago I said that Rialto Bridge was probably my top three most touristy spots that I've been to. This bridge, the Charles Bridge here in Prague, is definitely busier. It is absolutely rammed and it's way bigger so there's way more people on here. Apparently Prague has 8 million tourists a year and over 7 million of them are foreigners. So there's a lot of different nationalities here, a lot of different languages being spoken. We just climbed all the way up the steps of the castle. Look how cool this view is. See all the orange roofs. It's very cool. Another day, another castle. A different country. Another day, a different country, another castle. Another day, another country, another castle. It's pretty impressive. This is definitely a cooler view, but it is scaffolding on one side. But yeah, looks really cool. We're trying to leave the castle grounds, but we don't know how to get out. It's like amazing, yeah. Neighborhood. Prague's definitely way nicer than we thought it was going to be. Uh, my expectations were it's a stag city where like everyone in Europe goes for stags and stuff. Yeah. Turns out it's really nice. It is. I'm surprised people come here for stags to be honest. It's very picturesque, very fairy tale and the buildings are just lovely and it's very clean and yeah, yeah. I don't know. I really like it here. Highly recommend. Yeah. What a pleasant, what, what a happy, happy surprise. surprise. Now we're going to a bar. That's the only first time it's free. <laughs> and we get beer. And we get beer. Okay, we're about to go through the smaller street in Prague. It's got traffic light systems because it's so narrow. <laughs> the narrow street in Prague just led us to a restaurant, and that's all that's in the end of it. <laughs> so we need to go back through the smaller street. And I bet so many people are always in the same position. We came to an Irish bar, went in Rome. When in Rome. When in Rome, go to Prague and go to an Irish bar. And have a Czech beer. Lovely. I think it'd be, I don't like beer. It's called Murphy's. Shock. Shock. <laughs> <laughs> Very original. But I think we're going to go to somewhere where claims have like the cheapest beer in Prague. It should be like a pound, so we'll see. Okay, so this is apparently one of the cheaper places in Prague where you can get beer. This costs 39 krona, which is about a kruna, which is about one pound ten, I think. And it's in a really touristy location, so there's probably cheaper places you can get it, but not in this location. It's pretty good. I think the best thing about it is the water on the menu costs the same price as the beer. 39 krona. Kruna. The food in here looks really, really good, but we've already had food. We might come back tomorrow for lunch. It's not a bad idea. It's Ashley's birthday tomorrow. Happy birthday, Ashley. Happy birthday, Ashley. Oh, me. <laughs> One thing Prague is famous for is these chimney cakes. I can't remember the real name for them. Trad Tradlick. Mm. Yeah, basically they look like this. Can't get ones filled with ice cream and strawberries and things, but we're a bit full for that. Definitely have one if you're in Prague. A 
Okay, there's a famous landmark right behind us. It's called the Prague Astronomical Clock. Don't ask me to tell the time. There's too many sections and numbers and letters and stuff, but it looks cool. I don't know why, but the door for it is really small. It's the perfect size. What are you on about? The clock is also in the Old Town Square, which we are now, but there's something going on here. We're going to check it out. Circles. 